discussing in terms of elements is form. The definition for form in that is that it's 3D, okay? Remember, shapes had an outline to them, but they were 2D, they were flat. Forms is when you take a shape and you illustrate it to look 3D or you shade it in to look 3D. So now it doesn't only have height uh, or length and width, right? You can calculate the actual volume of it. So it's got length, width, and height, okay? So that there's a space inside of it, volume. They can be viewed from many different angles and there's two categories of form. Just like texture, you can have real form. So you can actually pick up an object like this remote. It's got different sides to it, okay? It's got form. You can sculpt something and you could pick it up and if it has different sides to it and you can feel it, right? It can actually be 3D or we can have implied form, the illusion that something is 3D. So if you watch any IMAX Pixar movies, right? Like Finding Nemo or any other kind of graphic uh, movies like that, you'll notice that the characters look like they're 3D. They're not actually 3D, they're flat, but they look 3D because the artist has carefully applied shading to them, okay? So last block, we actually had time to watch Megamind. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Megamind. That's one of my favorite kind of 3D um, Pixar movies where everything appears 3D, but it's only because it's shaded in. It has applied form, okay? So I'm going to take something that is 2D, like a square. I'm freehanding this, so my square is not going to be perfect, perfect, but I'm going to try. Okay, so we can take this. A square is 2D. Okay, it's flat. It's a shape. How do I make the shape into a form? Okay, I might draw it into a block where I show different faces. So I could take a square. We're gonna be practicing drawing forms today. Okay, and then Okay, without any shading now it it appears 3D because I could see different sides. One side, two side, and three side. Okay. Once it appears 3D because of the way that I drew it, it's now a form. Okay, we could try it with a sphere. Again, if you have no idea how to shade, don't worry about it. But you could have taken something like a circle, which is 2D because it's flat. Okay, and we could make it 3D. So it looking like it's going to pop off the page or realistic, more realistic by making that circle with a little bit of shading on it. Okay, meaning that there's light shining from this side of it and it's creating a shadow. And now we have something that looks a little bit more 3D. So now it has form. So again, form is when something appears 3D. Shape is when something appears 2D. 